it's Jenny from Homestead Corner and we are getting buried in zucchini. So today we're going to dehydrate some. So our zucchini plants are just absolutely out of control. We have so many zucchini coming off of them right now. And I like to save the little ones for fresh eating. So these little um, regular ones, this is about the size you get in the store. I save these to eat fresh. We kind of put those aside. But once we get a bunch of, I miss a lot of zucchinis because they grow so stinking fast. It's insane. So I like to, sometimes I can it. You can pickle it. You can do all kinds of stuff with zucchini. It is so versatile. And that is why I love it so much. Because really, there's so much to do. I've even made um, mock pineapple with it, which is lovely. Comes out super good. And But dehydrating it is so easy. And it lasts in the pantry. You don't have to worry about it and you can just toss it in whatever you want so i just i like them halved is about the size that i use and i try to go fairly thin with my slices not too thin but fairly thin about an eighth of an inch and then i find the mandolin is too thin and it's uh, they get holes in it and it's just too thin and they stick really bad to the trays but a little thicker like this works out perfect and I just layer them right on my trays and I like the half sizes because that way I don't have to do anything to it when I'm making soup it's a great size for soup you can layer it in to casseroles all kinds of stuff you can do with your dehydrated zucchini which is awesome and I have tried the zucchini like chips put a little bit of oil on it but they get kind of rubbery with the oil so they don't get crispy like they do when you dehydrate it by itself so I guess you could skip the oil and go uh, just a little bit of salt on it or whatever you like on your chips and then and the real skinny ends I just leave those whole once they start getting skinny enough. And if they're too big, I'd even quarter them. Uh, so if it's too big around, I would cut it in quarters. So it just depends on the size. And there's no really method to my madness except this size works for us. That's it. It's not, no secret tips here really. I wish I had some, but I don't. Zucchini is super easy. And so I am just going to keep cutting this up and like the smaller end, we will leave those whole because they're a fine size to toss in a casserole or a soup. That's when they start getting really big. You just cut them down to the size that you like. So I'm just going to keep cutting and loading trays. Alright, so this zucchini is ridiculously large. It really is just too big. So, and a lot of people, I don't mind the seeds inside when I'm using this. A lot of people are going to cut their zucchinis and you, if you don't like those big seeds in there, this one actually is not as bad as I thought. Usually when they get this big, there are huge seeds and kind of holy in there, but you can scoop all that out with a spoon, you know, and just use the outside piece. But I don't, I don't see, this one's not too bad actually. I don't mind the seeds at all anyway. So I'm just going to quarter this one because it's so big and, um, and just cut it up like that. So it's, it'll just give me quarter pieces, but they're still similar to the other size of the halves. So we're still getting nice bite-sized pieces. And all these scraps you have when you're done cutting, anything that is too thin or you don't want to use or any pieces left over, I throw all of this into the freezer and that way I have it to mix in with other scrap vegetables 
to make vegetable broth, which is absolutely delicious. Okay, so once I get all my trays loaded up into the dehydrator, I am, I set this for 12 hours. It takes 11 to 13. I'll try to check it a little before. Um, it usually runs 11 to 13 hours though before it is good and then I set my temperature a little bit low your vegetable setting is normally around 130 degrees but I like to go 110 115 in that area I think you get a little bit better of a product on the end result it's not quite so fast it takes a little bit longer but really not that much and it comes out really nice okay so these have been in for about 12 hours and then once they finish I let them sit in there for at least an hour I want these to cool down come to room temperature before I package them up. So I usually just leave them right in the dehydrator and let them cool. And once they are back to room temperature, an hour or two when I get to it usually is plenty. And then I just put them into right into the jars that I'm gonna store them in. And this is the finished product. It is really nice for soups, anything like that. Um, we love to have these casseroles. You can stick them in anything, really. They hydrate up pretty nice, and they are super thin. When you get done, they really shrink a ton in the dehydrator. But I'm just going to put these right into mason jars, and we're going to vacuum seal these up. And I just have a few jars. This four pretty good sized zucchinis are going to fill about two jars, two quarts. So half gallon, it'll, it'll give you a decent amount. So this is, this is about two really good sized zucchinis, much larger than you would normally eat fresh. When they get really big, that's when I do this, when I miss them. So once I have this done, I've got it all packed and everything. I'm gonna take my lid, put it on, and jar sealer just the this is just a food saver jar sealer and these work wonderfully you can use it with your food saver but when i just have a few jars i go for the brake bleeder i really love this thing and it is so simple and easy you just have to hold it in to the hole and i just pump it up and you can see it's rising it's almost five pounds I bring it in between 15 and 20 usually around 17 16 17 pounds and I haven't had any trouble with the lids coming off or anything like that so you just keep pumping it until it gets up there and you want to hold the piece over here nice and tight so it doesn't uh, come off you start moving around you're gonna lose pressure but this is really easy to do, and I just really love this for, and for grid down, this is perfect. You don't need any electricity for this. So if the grid goes down, I can still seal jars. And there we go, we get about 16 pounds. Just pop that real quick and pull this off. And our jar is sealed up nice. And you can add your ring to make sure it stays down. Crank them on really tight. It is ready for the pantry. I'm just going to label this with what it is and the date. That way, if it doesn't look like zucchini when I get ready to use it, which I've never had that problem, these dehydrated veggies last really good. And you could do a, about two years worth. I like to cycle through every two years, and they still are nice and fresh as long as you keep it in a cool dark environment how you should store all of your food so any of this stuff that I used if you're interested in it I will have links down below if you're looking for that um, and that's it for this video dehydrating zucchini is so super simple and easy and uh, it's great to have it on the shelf and it's gonna last so that's it if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe I'll see you in the next video. Bye.